Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. If you're new to my channel, I certainly appreciate both your viewership as well as your recent subscription. Okay. So what I'd like to do for you today is to just give you a 24-hour message regarding um, your romantic situation and to see what messages spirit might wish to share with you, okay? Messages that need to be shared with you for your higher or highest good, okay? Rest assured, ladies and gentlemen, that this reading, as well as with any other reading, will not and just simply may not resonate with you guys. But for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you the information that you're seeking so that you can make your best informed decision, particularly when it comes to your romantic situation. So with that said, I'm going to start off by just shuffling up a few cards of my romance angel cards here today to just get a sense of the overarching energy. And then I'm going to just look at your past or what may have occurred in your past, and what may be happening presently, and what may be a probable outcome con should you continue on your um, current path here, okay? So, Spirit, what messages do collectives need to know today for their highest good here regarding their romantic situation okay let's start off first again collectives and just seeing what's the overarching energy and keep in mind collectives if this reading resonates with you guys remember to give it a big thumbs up share it with others to whom you think might benefit and be sure to press that subscription button so you receive all future readings okay so let's see what we have all right wow so for many of you, um, it seems that some of you are might you may be in the midst of a separation, okay? Or you may presently be separated from someone, okay? But it looks more so that some of you, you are about to um, separate from one another here. So it might be something that's going on in your situ situation that's going to be leading to that, okay? So let's pull a few more cards here. It seems that in the past that you attracted that situation into your life here, okay? Because you realize, or many of you realize that you needed to be a bit more fully present and you needed to let go of past hurts, past pains, okay? But let's see what's kind of happening in your presence here. Okay. So it seems that many of you, you're going to have to make a decision regarding your romantic situation. You see that a separation appears to be possible, but you're going to have to make a, a decision. It seems that it's between someone new as well as someone old here. Okay. And I feel that an ex might be also involved. So this card is indicating to you that it's time that you clearly decide what it is that you want in the way of the relationship so that it comes to you. Because obviously, whatever that many of you have been uh, in your life appears to have not been working here. And the reason why I'm saying that here is because you have this separation card. Okay. Let's pull another card here. And, and perhaps the reason why things are, are or haven't been working is because someone, many of you may have a need to control or perhaps the person with whom you are or have been kind of been in a romantic situation is too controlling, I'm getting, okay? Or maybe some of you may have just met someone new and, 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 the, re and the fact that you're being so controlling to this person, it may cause some type of separation. So just keep that in mind that that's an aspect of your reading here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take out another Oracle deck here. I'm going to take out my more heart shaped lovers Oracle deck here, just to give you a few more messages today regarding your romantic situation. Okay. So let's see. Spirit, give me 
five more messages to share with collectives regarding their romantic situation. And this reading, once again, is valid for the next 24 hours, okay? Again, it may not resonate for each and every one of you guys, but again, for those for whom this reading is meant, I certainly hope it offers you that information that you're seeking. Be sure to press that subscription button if it's resonating and um, press the like button. Okay. Okay. Let's start off with your first message here. All right. So even though it seems that you might be ending the situation, it seems that when one door opens, another one, um, I'm sorry, when one door closes, another one opens here. Okay. Because your passion certainly is going to uh, ignite for someone else. Okay. Next message. Only time would tell, ladies and gentlemen, and this seems that this is more so suitable for those of you who have been having a difficult time in your romantic situation or you've just been waiting aimlessly and patiently for things to kind of go your way and things perhaps haven't gone your way. So this card is suggesting that you perhaps need to be a bit more patient. Okay. Next message. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness, okay? And we already know what that unhappiness is going to be, right? It's going to lead to what? A separation, all right? So one of the things that you might want to consider doing is, is to just accept each other as you really are, you know? And give each other some breathing room to allow your relationship to magically transform. Next message, okay? Spirit wants you to know that when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you, but your soul and the memories that you have shared with those you love. So look at the big picture. Is all this arguing and bickering that serious here, okay? And last message, ladies and gentlemen, with these cards, reflection. <laughs> Didn't I just say that? It's time that you give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will, in fact, work out for you guys in the end. Okay? So what I'd like to do here in closing, ladies and gentlemen, is just to share with you four more messages on what you might do to or how you might be a bit loving as you move forward in your day today, okay? Or particularly within this next 24 hours, okay? Let's see what messages we get here. Spirit, give us four more closing messages to share with collectives here. Four more messages on things that they may consider. And particularly when you're dealing with others, okay? All right, let's see what we have. Collectives understand that being fully human is a spiritual transformation. Okay. Loving kindness is how we take responsibility for our life. Loving kindness, collective, is also using our free will to express our divine nature. Loving kindness is the highest service to our soul and all beings. Next message. Identify as love. Understand, collectives, that how we identify ourselves and the happenings of our lives is what creates suffering or fulfillment. Do you see yourself as the wound or as the healer? Do you see yourself as the past or the present? Alone, ladies and gentlemen, or complete, competent, capable, challenged, blessed, supportive. Okay. Next message. Leave the past where it is in the past. 
A strong mind focuses forward. And last message today, ladies and gentlemen. Turn on your heart. Uncondition your mind. If this message tells you, or if the message tells you that you're not worthy, turn it off. If it's predicting heartbreak, inciting violence on your spirit, or conflict-oriented, turn it off. If it tells you that your heart would never mend, goodbye. Doesn't matter if it has a great backbeat or it comes from someone with credentials or someone claiming to know Saint someone. If it doesn't speak, shine, or vibe about the greater good of all, turn it off. Okay, so collectives, this is what I have for you in terms of messages today. Be sure to like and share, subscribe if you've yet to subscribe, and if you'd like to have a more personalized reading, please be sure to access my website to schedule your reading there, or you might, in fact, send me over an email to the email addresses identified within the description box. Have a blessed day. I do appreciate your time in viewing this, and I look forward to hearing your comments. Enjoy your day.